Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In this video, we have Wonder Woman 600 who has five promotions available, so we are about to do another Elite 5 video. Unfortunately, it's while Containment Doomsday is going on, but I've been extremely busy with real life. As you can see, base stats at level 40 are 4,791 damage, 11,326 health, shield toss base damage with no promotion and no upgrades, 958 to 1916. Aegis Wrath 2874 to 5749 and Justice Javelin does 7186 damage. So with the first promotion she goes up to 7187 damage, 16,988 health. Shield Toss goes up to 1437 to 2874. Aegis Wrath 4312 to 8624 and Justice Javelin is 10,780 damage. So with the second promotion, 9,582 damage, 22,651 health, shield toss 1,916 to 3,832, Aegis Wrath 5,749 to 11,498, and the Justice Javelin 14,373 damage. And the third promotion is usually the biggest upgrade, 14,374 damage, 33,977 health. Shield Toss now does 2,874 to 5749. Aegis Wrath 8,624 to 17,248. And Justice Javelin does 21,560 damage. So up to Elite 4, now 16,769 damage. 40,772 health. Shield Toss does 3,353 damage to 6,707. Aegis Wrath 10,061 damage to 20,122. And the Justice Javelin 25,153 damage. So now up to Elite 5, 19,165 damage, 45,302 health. Shield Toss does 3,833 to 7,666. Aegis Wrath, 11,499 damage to 22,998. Justice Javelin does 28,747 damage. Amazonian Fury, which is an amazing passive. All female characters on Wonder Woman's team receive 30% damage and power generation. Keep in mind if you use Batman, you can have two characters, Wonder Woman and Red Sun Wonder Woman, get 55% damage and... 50 per, or 45% power regeneration, and that's huge. So now onto the promotions. Shield Toss with one upgrade, 4,216 to 8,432. Second upgrade, 4,599 to 9,199. Third upgrade to level 4, 4,982 to 9,965. 5,366 to 10,732. 5,557 to 11,115, 5,749 to 11,498, 5,941 to 11,882, 6,132 to 12,265, 6,324 to 12,648 is the max damage on the shield toss. Aegis Wrath currently does 11,499 to 22,998 with an upgrade 12,648 to 25,297, 13,798 to 27,597, 14,948 to 29,897, 16,098 to 32,197, 16,673 to 33,347, 17,248 to 34,496, 17,823 to 35,646, 18,398 to 36,796, 18,973 to 37,946 damage is the max. And keep in mind, you do also benefit from the 30% damage. And the Justice Javelin, currently 28,747. First upgrade to 31,622. 34,497. 37,371. 40,246. 
41,683, 43,121, 44,558, 45,995, and fully upgraded 47,433 damage. Now we're going to go into bonus battle 6, and we're going to do the mirror match to start off. We're using Batman because he does give both Red Sun Wonder Woman and 600 Wonder Woman 25% damage, giving both of them 55% damage. Starting off with the Mirror Match team. Main goal here is we're going to test out 600 Wonder Woman's level 1, 2, and super moves during the fight. We're also going to try to get off a super move on Red Sun Wonder Woman. So heavy attacks for 1246. You do get a bigger benefit if you have Red Sun Superman in the fight. And a four hit attack. I really like her little diving sweep. She'll toss block for 6515. And we're going to get off a Agus Wrath, which does not appear to be blocked. And that hits for a lot of damage. And that does knock out Red Sun Wonder Woman. Plus a Batarang for about 2600. So we're going to get off a Shield Boss, which is blocked for about 10,000, hitting for about 20,000 unblocked. Wonder Woman at 2.5 bars, plus the Batarang connects, and we're going to get off the Justice Javelin, and Batman is eliminated. We're going to see if we can try to get a damage value. 86,887, that is just ridiculous. Shield toss for 9410. We need to get 600 Wonder Woman out. We're gonna get Red Sun Wonder Woman back. We're gonna take a couple hits. And we're gonna get 600 Wonder Woman up to three bars. And I think that actually rivals Dark Side if he was almost able to do that much damage. We're gonna get in Batman for a minute. And an Agus Wrath for about 29,000 damage, bleeding for 859. And Batman goes down. So we're going to go off to Justin Javelin with 600 Wonder Woman. Seventy-seven thousand two hundred thirty-five damage. So Red Sun Wonder Woman is ridiculous. Twenty-two thousand five hundred eighty-six XP. As well as 1,950 credits. Now we're going to get in Regime Wonder Woman. This is also another viable lineup. There's actually three of them all together. We're going to show all three of them off. So we're going to start off with Regime Wonder Woman. And we're going to get in block mode. Begin. <laughs> Keep in mind, Regime Wonder Woman also benefits from 30% damage and power generation. So already at two bars. And we're going to go off the Justice Javelin. And this should be enough to get rid of Bane. Fifty-seven thousand nine hundred twenty-six damage. So a significant upgrade. For Regime Wonder Woman. We have a Silver Bane in play. Rage Slam blocked for 2161. And we're getting off a Shield Bash. That hits for about 25,000. We got Green Lantern in with a Turbine Smash. Now we're going to get Red Sun Wonder Woman in. We're going to get the difference without that. So we're going to go off a second Justice Javelin, and Green Lantern is eliminated. Sixty-nine thousand five hundred nine damage. So without Batman, you lose about seventeen thousand damage. Thirty-three thousand nine hundred forty-eight XP, as well as four thousand six hundred twenty credits. So now on our third demonstration, which will probably be the most common, we're going to put in Red Sun Superman along with Red Sun Wonder Woman. And the main benefit for this is you gain 
30% damage to your basic attacks, and Red Sun Wonder Woman gains Superman. 80%. So we're going to do this third fight. Begin. And Superman is meleeing for 1437. We're going to tag Red Sun Wonder Woman in. And her heavy attack is actually stronger than Red Sun Superman. At 1682. We're going to get in 100 Wonder Woman. Game over block. For about 16,000. And 600 Wonder Woman's heavy attacks are for 1495. So we're gonna off the Justice Javelin, and Bane is eliminated. Seven thousand damage. Quick charge block. As you see, even 600 Wonder Woman out melees Red Sun Superman. But we're getting off the Kryptonian Smash, and Lobo is eliminated. Flash comes in next, and we do have Wonder Woman at three bars. We're going to try to get the Flash to block. Level 2 move, and get grabbed from 600 Wonder Woman. So we can get a gauge on how much the bleed does. We're at 2 bars. And there is a block, so that's good. So the bleed takes for about 747. And we're gonna go for shield toss for about 8,272. So quite a bit less damage without Batman. So we're going to get off the Justice Javelin, and the Flash is eliminated. And these are the three best lineups that I can think of with 600 Wonder Women. 69,509 damage for the victory. 34,017 XP. As well as 4,690 credits. So out of the three lineups, Batman will cause... Red Sun and 600 Wonder Woman do ridiculous damage. Regime Wonder Woman is huge for power generation and increases damage more than Batman would. And Red Sun Superman also gives 50% increased melee damage to himself, 80% to Red Sun Wonder Woman and 600 Wonder Woman. So these are the three best lineups that you can actually use. And obviously other combinations will probably work, but this is the optimal three that I can think of. And this will also be the lineup for containment doomsday so if you like this video on 600 wonder woman being promoted to elite 5 as well as tips on using her please give this video a like rating comment subscribe share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite check out my other injustice gods among us videos my playlist facebook twitter and twitch which are all hollywood shono and the containment doomsday challenges are up next unfortunately i had a blue screen of death for battle 5 of 600 wonder woman so that will not be up have a wonderful day kids www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!